Welcome back to your flight instruction on induction systems and the float type carburetor. Carburetor icing, as mentioned earlier, one disadvantage of the float type carburetor is its icing tendencies. Carburetor ice occurs due to the effect of fuel vaporization and the decrease in air pressure in the venturi which causes a sharp temperature drop in the carburetor. If water vapor in the air condenses when the carburetor temperature is at or below freezing, ice may form on internal surfaces on the carburetor, including the throttle valve. Here's a picture representing the float type carburetor and the scenario of carburetor icing. Carburetor heat is an anti-icing system that preheats the air before it reaches the carburetor and is intended to keep the fuel-air mixture above freezing to prevent the formation of carburetor ice. Carburetor heat can be used to melt ice that has already formed in the carburetor if the accumulation is not too great. But using carburetor heat as a preventive measure is the better option. Additionally, carburetor heat may be used as an alternative air source if the intake filter clogs such as in sudden or unexpected airframe icing conditions. The carburetor heat should be checked during the engine run-up. When using carburetor heat, follow the manufacturer's recommendations. 